This show is brought to you by Manscaped. Use the code AFTV for 20% off your order and free shipping at manscaped.com. AFTV Lee, um, there'll be a lot of people after watching that performance who'll be saying, well, you know what? At least we didn't get smashed. At least we didn't get battered. It weren't three, it weren't four. You know, one nil, best team in the land. Not bad. Where do you stand on that? Well, you know, I can see people saying that, but for me, far too cautious today. Far too cautious, I, I have to say. I think that, um, you know, look, listen, you know, you can't give a good side, team like Manchester City a goal start, and that's what we've done after a couple of minutes. We're a, we're, a, we're a goal down, and we didn't, you know, defending that was absolutely poor. But I, I felt today that, um, it, listen, I felt we had a free shot here today. You know, we're 10th in the league. We're middle of the table. Let's see what we can do. Let's have a go, go at them, see what we can do. I have to say that two defensive midfield players, you know, I'm, I'm telling you this now, Mikel Arteta is very, very fortunate that there's no fans in the stadium because I'm telling you this now, if I was paying 60, 70, 80 quid for that today, I wouldn't be happy just seeing us, you know, mm. defend and trying to shut down and, and, and play a team where we're looking to, to lose the game by the minimal scoreline I don't do, think do that's essential is he too cautious as a manager is, have you have you started to see that creeping into him now where he is too cautious and does react slowly because he even I guess when we saw the team at the start of the game we all understand it it's Man City you you know you got to keep it fairly tight then maybe later on have a go but does he then react way too slow? I, I, I can't remember the minute he took El Nini off, but I mean, there's no chance of winning a game by then. No, well, he took El Nini off five minutes from the end and then put Sabias on, like, you know, so it looked to me like, oh, well, if I lose 2 0, it still looks like quite a respectable scoreline. If it had been 20 minutes, yeah, it could have got like to. you said, that's yeah. not what we want to no, see. No, 100% club, you don't want to see that. Look, you know, and, and I think that he is uh, being. Listen, I don't mind us being cautious when you're going to Manchester City away or Man United away and things like that. I've got no problem whatsoever. But I don't want to see us being cautious at home. You know, we're Arsenal Football Club. We, you know, we, we, we win in this stadium. What to, 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 to have teams come over and us to defend against them? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not happy with that. And, and you know, you can say what you like about being cautious and that. The fans will, will not put up with that in the stadium. Do because you think he's had a pass this season because of the lack of fans? Well, I think that he has, certainly on some, some things at home, particularly at home, because let's, let's be honest, we've been poor. I think that's. 11 games we've lost now. We've lost more games this season than we've won. We've, you know, lost a lot of home games this season when we've been far too cautious at times, you know. And, and uh, listen, to that, to, it's, for me, I don't care who you are. I, and, and you're in a process or you're changing things around. Where, to be 10th or 11th in the league is not acceptable, you know what I mean? You've got to do that four, f five or six at the worst, not 10th or 11th, and there seems to be an acceptance on that. And, and, and an acceptance for a team like Manchester City, as good as they are, as good as they are, to not really go for it today, Robbie. I don't think we ever really went for that game today. Mm. You know, it was too cautious. And I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I, as, a, as a fan, a paying fan that goes to the Emirates, I don't think I would be... Accepting that today. Now I don't know what other fans would be saying and all that, mm. but I'm pretty sure well, that I'm fans are paying you. a lot of money. I'm with you, to be honest, paying a lot of money for that mm. to see two defensive holding midfield players. See the attacking players that we have. We've still got good, gifted attacking players. Saka, Abamyang, and Pepe today. What service did they get today? Because you've got midfield players that are more are in the team to protect a bad four, a ba sorry, a back four, which mm. is which at times as as not not as weak as it's been in the past. Yep. Um, Thursday night now, it's all on that, bro. If we, if, we, if we get knocked out of that, that is it. The season is over because we're obviously, I, I mean, so we struggle to get even any chance of getting the top six, let alone top four. Yeah. Top four, yeah. absolutely no chance. Top six, probably no chance. So, exactly. It's all on the Europa League. It was all on the Europa League, and that's why I'm disappointed about today, because we should have gone for it a little bit more. If, we, if we'd have gone for it today and lost 2-3-1, it wouldn't have changed anything mm. than what we've lost by one goal today, and, and you know, it hasn't really changed too much. You know, and the, the worrying thing about Thursday, and I say it now, is that 
that sort of defensive lapse of concentration is not the first time this has happened. That's happened against Aston Villa, different players, admittedly, but uh, again, it's happened today. We can't t- t- afford to start off so poorly against a team like Benfica and go a goal down against them because, you know, we're going to be in for a really rough night. And the worrying thing is that Arsenal defenders have got that in their locker, those mistakes. And, you know... When you play against these teams, I oh, look. Listen, I'm gonna let's just go back quickly to Man City. I think today Manchester City, like you know, we've got they've, we've gone a goal down, and they were content to say, right, I'll tell mm. you what, like we're we're an old fire on here. We've got a game on Wednesday. Let's reserve a bit of energy. They look like they've got two or four, three more gears to go up. Now going on that, you do that against Manchester City. You're up against it. You do that against Benfica and give them something to to hang on to. You're in danger of going out of a competition. As at what we were in February still, mm. which is a worry. Now, now, what, what, you know, what happens if we don't go through on Thursday? God help me, God help us, because uh, you know the season is is a complete and utter washout from from start to finish. Uh, we need to win this game, but with this game now on Thursday comes pressure. The reason we got pressure on this game is because. Again, a silly little mistake against Benfica, give them a penalty, but we also missed chances. So, if you know, the forwards let us down on Thursday. They didn't let us down today because they didn't really have an opportunity. But we've got to defend properly. If we defend properly, then I'm pretty sure we'll have a few chances. But you know, this Arsenal team <laughs> does not defend properly, as you well know, Robbie. So, you know, listen, we're, we ain't even at home. So that makes it even more... Tough for us, like. Well, it might be, but you know, obviously, with the fans not being there, does it make a lot of difference and whatever? But well, what we've got to do now is we've got to do a bit of travelling and everything like that, recover from the game. Listen, I think Thursday, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be positive, but. You know, I've seen a few people angry and I've, like, on, on, on the WhatsApp group today and all that. People are angry about the result today. I'm not that angry because the, the hope kills you, Robbie. The hope kills you, like you know what I mean, like. And I wasn't, I, I wasn't like that. But I tell you what, if we lose on Thursday night, uh, uh, there, 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 there could be a few meltdowns at this fo- this football club. And you know, the players will have to take their responsibility from that, and so will the manager. But I'm going to stay positive, and I think that we we got enough to uh, to beat them. Well, we've got good players. We have got some good players in good areas, you know what I mean. And so let's just hope that we defend properly and get the result. But hope kills you.